नमस्कार आई एम अरविंद हेबार फ्रॉम उडपी शी इज समन्वी माई स्टूडेंट वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग टूडे पुरंदर दर्शना कोविड नाइन्टीन हेज मेड एस टू कम टूगेदर दिस विलेज उडपी ए स्मॉल टेम्पल सिटी इन कर्नाटका हेज नाउ मेड इट्स arms stretch to charlotte charlotte purandara aradhana we are indebted to it on behalf of charlotte purandara aradhana we present here today purandara darshana we know purandara dasa as one of the pioneers who made an attempt to popularize kannada krutis called devaranamas or kirtanas to all laymen giving message from the veda upanishads puranas and other epics he is adorned as one of the topmost dasas amongst all hari dasas his guru is shri vyasaraya born 1400 and vyasaraya accepts purandara dasa he names him purandara dasa and then gives him purandara vithala as the pen name or ankita nama and he adorns adorns the shishya if there is any hari dasa he should be purandara dasa alone he says dasa is none but purandara dasa this was told by purandara dasa's guru shri vyasaraya wearing tulasi garland putting brand marks on forehead fraudulently chanting hari's name in front of people claiming to be a haridasa is he a haridasa vyasaraya as expects a sumptuous meal for himself but not serving meal to any brahmins without the knowledge of god or vedas or upanishads this miser begs shamelessly earns a few coins in the name of hari is he a hari dasa dasar endare purandara dasaraya he sings saman we will start our entire program as an epilogue वसुदेव 
ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ನ ಸೂಸಿ ಪೂಜಿಸುವ ದಾಸರಂದರ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಿಯ ಗ್ರಾಸಕಿಲ್ಲದ ಪೋಗಿ ಗ್ರಾಸಕಿಲ್ಲದ ಪೋಗಿ ಪರರ ಮನೆಗಳ ಪುಕು ದಾಸನೆಂದು ತುಳಸಿ ಮಾಲೆ ಧರಿಸಿ ಬೇಸರಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಅವರ ಕಾಡಿ ಬೇಡಿ ಬಳಲುತ್ತ ಸೂಗಣಿಸುವ ಪುರುಷ ಹರಿದಾಸನೆ ಕಾಸುಗಣಿಸುವ ಪುರುಷ ಹರಿದಾಸನೆ ದಾಸರಂದರೆ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಯ್ಯ ಪಾಠಕ ನತೆರನಂತೆ ಪದಗಳನೆ ತಾಪಾಡಿ ಊಟ ಜನರ ಮನಸ್ಸು ತೋಷ ಬಡಿಸಿ ಪಾಠಕ ನತೆರನಂತೆ ಪದಗಳನೆ ತಾಪಾಡಿ ಊಟ ಜನರ ಮನಸ್ಸು ತೋಷ ಬಡಿಸಿ ಗೂಟ ನಾಮವನಿಟ್ಟು ಕೋವಿದನು ತಾನೆನುತ ಬೂಟಿಕೆಯ ಮಾಡಲವ ಹರಿದಾಸನೆ ಹರಿದಾಸನೆ ನೀತಿಯಲ್ಲವನರಿತು ನಿಗಮ ವೇದ್ಯನೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮಾತು ಮಾತಿಗೆ ಬಿಡದೆ ವರ್ಣಿಸುತ್ತಲಿ ನೀತಿಯಲ್ಲವನರಿತು ನಿಗಮ ಮಾತು ಮಾತಿಗೆ ಬಿಡದೆ ವರ್ಣಿಸುತ್ತಲಿ ಗೀತ ನರ್ತನದಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ನ ಪೂಜಿಸುವ ಗೀತ ನರ್ತನದಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ನ ಪೂಜಿಸುವ ಪೂತ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಿವರಯ್ಯ ಪೂತಾತ್ಮ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಿವರಯ್ಯ ದಾಸರಂದರ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಯ್ಯ ವಸುದೇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ನ ಸೂಸಿ ಪೂಜಿಸುವ ದಾಸರಂದರ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಯ್ಯ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ in 1484 perhaps we do not know with certainty 1484 all of you might me might be knowing how purandara dasa became a dasa he was actually a brahmin of vasishta gotra 
Vaishnava Brahmin. He was having a jewelry shop and he was called Srinivasa Nayaka. In some texts, his name is written Krishna Panayaka. Nayaka. Vadeya. The owner. He was a karodpati, a crorier, a stingy, miserly person. And he was once meets with a, a Brahmin, old Brahmin, with a small child ready for Upanayanam and he begged for some help to conduct his thread ceremony. Srinivasa Nayaka would never give any money to anybody. This fellow will pester him every day and night, coming frequently to his shop and asking for some help. It is not a custom to say, go out. They would just say, come tomorrow. Every day, come tomorrow was chanted by this Srinivasa Nayaka. But this Brahmin, old Brahmin, would never give up his attempts to extract money from this miserly person. And one day, why can't you give something today? Then he piles up certain coins and just spills over him. Find out whatever coins that you can get it. Finding it futile, the attempt, Srinivasa Nayaka was just left out. This bold Brahmin, along with this child, runs to the house of Srinivasa Nayaka. His wife, Saraswati Bai, a devotee of Krishna, just was asked for some help instead of her husband. She says, I am barehanded. I cannot give anything. Then this Brahmin says, you have the, the, the mouse ring. The, the nose ring. Give it. If it is given, the husband will kill or give, him, give her poison. Still, she gives after requesting Lord Krishna that she is parting with this nose ring and she comes and just donates to this Brahmin. This Brahmin, who is a mischievous one, he once again comes back to the shop keeper, Srinivasa Nayaka, and tenders that to give money against it. Looking at it, he immediately identifies that it is the nose ring of his wife, locks it into the drawer tightly, with all security, Closes the shop, Srinivas Naika goes to his house and banging his wife where the ring is. She thought that the life is ended. She just goes to the puja room and begs Krishna that it's better to take poison and die in front of you rather than under the merciless husband. So she takes poison and it is said that the nose ring is sparkling its glittering face in the poison vessel and she was surprised once again swears it and, and takes it and gives it to the husband. Husband was surprised. Srinivasa Nayaka once again runs back to his shop and opens the, opens the drawer, finding it no nose ring there. When change comes to a person, 
when god wants a change in the person he can do anything the old person was none other than shri man narayana who took the guise of an old brahmin and he just vanished away from the place shrinivasa nayaka finds that there is some mystery here and he doesn't see the ring, nose ring there but in his hand he had locked it up a, a, a few hours back but now he is not finding it so he would just call that old man where he is no he is not available he is not available he has vanished now shrinivasa goes back reports it to his wife such a ardent an ardent devotee of lord krishna she says okay this is for good the person who has come is definitely krishna incarnated then she only advises give out everything vairagya we don't want anything this in this world everything was just given to the people it was not sold out it was just given out shrinivasa takes the tanpura and chitki and then with a small garment simple garment along with his wife leaves the house and chants the name of lord krishna in kannada he starts devarnama the devarnama came as a spontaneous prose from his lips the bhakti was just infused into his body to such an extent an extempore prose which came out from his lips became one of the wonders in the entire kannada literature perhaps he was some 18 or 19 years when he came to pandarapura pandarapura the lord vithal known for it was visited by uh, shrinivasa perhaps vyasa tirtha the teacher Purandara Sa uh, Srinivasa met Vyasa Tirtha there, and by looking into the maturity of mind and other things, he takes him as a student, and he names him Purandara Dasa. Purandara is a is a, a dignified status in. given to indra a dignified man is now here who would chant and who would always have the name of god in his lips so vyasaraya or vyasa tirtha calls shrinivasa nayaka as a purandara dasa so this is a old story sometimes historians and epigraphists do not admit that this would have happened but anyway this story is very very in vogue in our literature and let us enjoy it and end it now i have to tell you that nothing is known about purandara dasa correctly even to this day i am telling you purandara dasa lived between 1484 to 1556 1556 1567 is marked as an a waterloo for our vijayanagara empire vijayanagara empire was totally made into small pieces shattered into pieces and thus 
ఆఫ్టర్ ద తాళికోట వార్ ఆర్ రక్కస తంగడి వార్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ పురంధర దాస బికేమ్ అన్ అబ్సల్యూట్ పర్సన్ వి డు నాట్ నో వేర్ హిజ్ లిటరేచర్ హస్ గాన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టోటలీ వ్యానిస్డ్ పర్యాప్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ద విజయనగర ప్యాలెస్ టెంపుల్స్ ఆల్ ద మాన్యుమెంట్స్ getting into the shattered pieces perhaps these also went along with it but remember after 120 years after the death of shri purandara dasa vijaya dasa is born he is from raichur manvi and vijaya dasa once he becomes a young boy he gets a dream saying that he is born as another incarnate after some janmam he is taking the janmam of purandara dasa once again as a son vijay dasa gets this dream in kashi and immediately he becomes serious collects all the informations regarding purandara dasa by visiting hampi and other places where purandara dasa lived vijay dasa prasanna venkata dasa jagannatha das dasa were all the little seniors to vijay dasa who accumulated so much of literature of shri purandara dasa but vijay dasa made a magnificent work in this regard whatever that we know about purandara dasa major majority of them are coming from the knowledge accumulated from shri vijay dasa remember after a century more what would be the authenticity you can you can think of authenticity of literature authenticity of raga authenticity of the birth the name the children the wife the place everything is in question if i say 1484 is the birth date birth year of purandara da purandara shrinivasa it is argued that it may be 1456 or 94 or 95 nothing is known if i say that purandara purandara dasa was born shrinivasa was born in purandara gada near pune now lot of informations are available that he is not belonging to that place he just visited pune he just visited purandara vithala's place pandrapur for about 12 years he was there perhaps he was not the resident of that place he was a pure kannadiga belonging to shivamogga district there is a taluk called tirthahalli there is a village called araga and shrinivasa was born in araga village lots of evidences are being accumulated to say that he belongs to this araga place this is one thing second wife saraswati we do not know saraswati bai okay his name shrinivasa or krishnappa his father's name varadappa under question mark how many children shrinivasa had according to one version 3 according to another version 4 three are sons one daughter which is correct not known 120 years were passed by we don't have the documents but we have a beautiful document from bellari that is kamalapura it's called kampli a copper script inscription where 
Purandra Dasa's name has been inscribed while he was alive. It was on February 24th, 1526. Epigraphia Indica has published this in volume 21 and page 139. It was donating a very big village called Betta Konda Grama as an endowment to Vyasaraya by Shri Krishna Devaraya of Vijayanagar. Vyasaraya himself a seer. He doesn't want this. He just donated it to eight very good scholars, pundits. And he gave it who would give teachings to others in such places. Out of which the three were Purandaradasa's sons. One is Lakshmana Dasa, another is Hebana Dasa, third one is Madhvapa Dasa. Lakshmana Dasa is understandable. Hebana Dasa or Hevana Dasa is unheard of name. What is this? We do not know. But it is there. And third one is Madhvapa Dasa. Nothing is written as far as the daughter of Srinivasa is concerned. And these three were in Hampi. Perhaps they had already become Dasas by this time. It is also written that Chinnanna, he is a grandson of Anamacharya. Talapakam Chinna Tiruvengala Natha, also called Chinnanna. He has written an essay, Prabandha, called Dvipada Prabandha. He is Peda Tirumalacharya's son. This Chinnanna has recorded in this Prabandha that Annamacharya and Purandaradasa met each other in Tirumala Tirupati. His own grandfather Annamacharya looks at Purandara and he says, Panduranga Vitalane Yadurige Bandu Nintantide. As if Panduranga Vitala has come, I am seeing you like that. Annamaya tells Purandara. Purandara Dasa in turn also expresses his joy. Sakshat Venkateshwaranane Kandantayitu. I am seeing Lord Venkateshwara here itself, he says. This is written by the grandson of Annamaya. Prasanna Venkata Dasa, belonging to the 17th century, who died in 1674, he says, Tande Purandara Dasa Ras Marisuve. There is a record that he belonged to that parampara. Vijayadasa, he gives an account, account very elaborate, that he had, Purandradasa had written 4,25,000 compositions. According to another, his own version, 4,75,000. So there is a small uncertainty here. At one certain place, Vijayadasa himself has written like that, 4,25,000. And in another place, 4,75,000. Out of that, some 25,000 are Ugabogas or Suladis or something like that. So we do not know which is correct once again. There is an interesting note, another, to give an evidence that Purandara was a, a venerated Dasa. After 164 years after death of Purandara Dasa, 
in tanjavur tulajendra also called tulajaji first or tukkoji of 1728 to 1736 mentions in his sangita saramrata that purandara dasa has written suladis in specific ragas and his guru is vyasaraya and purandara dasa was a most venerated dasa in the previous times look at the contrast next bosle family came later before nayaka dynasty in tanjavur it is in 1600 so it was just after um purandara dasa death govind dikshita is con- he is considered to be the one of the greatest scholars in carnatic music who wrote the sangeeta sudha he mentions all the very dignified music composers carnatic music musicians musicologists of his times and previous he was in raghunath naika's darbar govind dikshita such a venerated uh, scholar never mentions purandara dasa is it so that going to dikshita did not know purandara dasa tulajendra has written about purandara dasa but not vijay dasa this going to dikshita has written about all the contemporary musicians and musicologists but no dasas we do not know what has happened here another evidence to say that purandara dasa has written kannada prose or poems in marathi abaji ramachandra savant published the first purandara dasa compositions in litho print in litho print in kannada we call it kallachu in 1880 now whatever that we get as a purandaras compositions we get it in a, a specific paper called kori paper kori kagada it is written in it's handwritten and it is in sanskrit there are certain uh, uh, evidences to say that he has written so many verses in kannada and they are available in some palm leaves which are available in kannada kannada script from karnataka university darwad tyagaraja's father rama brahma was so much inspired by purandara dasa that later he taught his son and his wife about purandara dasa's kirtanas tyagaraja was very much influenced by purandara dasa's kirtanas we have so many parallels in purandras poems kirtanas and tyagarajas kritis one such is sakala graha bala nene sarasi jaksha by purandara dasa sakala graha bala nemi by tyagaraja so like that we have so many examples i can quote to have a parallel so thus whatever that you call and whatever that you say for purandara das or shrinivas or this great say there is some problem of uncertainty this vithal is an enigma 
Vittum is an abridged form, a colloquial form, Vittu. It's vit abridged form, is Vittu. Vittha. Vishnu. So Vishnu became Vittha and Vittha became Bittiga. Bittiga or Bitti Deva was there between 11, uh, 1117 to 100, 1, 1137 as the Vishnu Vardhana, the Hoysala king. All the Marathi Abang seers have admitted that Vithala is a Kannadiga. Kanada Vithala wo Ubha Bhivaretiri Nama Bareve Barave Rupa Barave Darshana Barave Kanadiya. They said like this. He is a Kannadiga. Jnana Dev in his Abang mentions Kanada ho Vithalu Karnataku. He belongs to Karnataka. Karnataka means Karnatic. South to Godavari. Not the Karnataka of state of this today's political map. So like this. We have how Vittala would have come to Pandarapur. It is actually the idol from Udayagiri. And this was actually installed by Krishna Devaraya. Yeah, this Vittala Murti in Pandrapur was installed by Krishna Devaraya upon request by the grandfather of Ekanath Maharaj, Sant Ekanath. He is called Banudasa. It is said. Very curious to know from some historians that this idol was taken from Udayagiri to Hampi. In the Virupaksha temple, the same idol is there. It's called Virupaksha Vithala temple. Vijaya Vithala, we call it in Hampi. It is said that that Vijaya Vithala Devasthana that was constructed by Krishna, Dev, by Krishna Devaraya. According to historians, which is also supported by the Dayan epigraphist and a literateur, Sri S. K. Ramachandra Rao, that this Vittal's idol has come from Udayagiri. What happened to Pandrapur Vittal then? We do not know. I have no answer. Historians are not in a position to answer us satisfyingly. Anyway, Pandrapur Vittal, for our practical purposes hereafter, will now dwell in Hampi, Virupaksha Vijaya Vittala Devasthana. Vadiraja Swami, who was also a contemporary of Purandra Dasa, was in Udupi. He has written Tirtha Prabandha and he has mentioned about this idol as coming from Udayagiri. In Purandargad or in Pandrapur, no inscriptions, no palm leaves, no kori papers, no epigraphies about Purandra Dasa living there. But there are so many stories. It is said that Purandara Dasa was tied to a pillar in Purandara Gada, uh, in Pandrapur and he was chastised. And he said Muyegi Muyi Thiritu one song was written in that place. He said, it is said we should not know what had happened to Purandara Dasa. Why people tied him into that, that pillar and that pillar is called Purandara Kamba which is never known to any Marathis now and it is not there. 
तो दस वी के नॉट से हाउ वाई वेर वॉट फॉर एवरी थिंग वी हैव ए बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क दर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन सॉन्ग रिटर्न बाई ज्ञानदेव संत ज्ञानदेव इट इज कलेक्टेड बाय डी के भीमसेन राव ऑफ उस्मानिया यूनिवर्सिटी रिसर्च बोर्ड फ्रॉम द थर्टीन सेंचुरी कर्नाटक कर्नाटक आंध्र महाराष्ट्र साहित्यावलोकन वन एस ए वेर देर इज वन कन्नड अभंग रिटर्न बाय संत ज्ञानदेव संत ज्ञानदेव कन्नड अभंग हेज बीन कलेक्टेड इट इज देर इन द पेज नाइंटी नाइन हा हा नी कू कन मरदे मातु केळेले घनिगे मरुळादेने आनी केळे मातु केळे घनिगे मरुळादेने चेलुवाने 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 पंढरी राया चेलुवाने 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 पंढरी राया चेलुवाने यल्ले दोरक्याने यल्ले दोरक्याने यल्ले बारन्ने यल्ले बारन्ने आनी केळे मातु केळेले घनिगे मरुळादे पुंडलीकन भक्ति के बंद रखुमा देवी वर विठल ने पुंडलीकन भक्ति के बंद रखुमा देवी वर विठल ने आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्यूरियासिटीज दैट वी हैव रिसीव्ड from one of the old storage libraries where this is a eye opener for many purandra das was very much influenced by marathi sons so marathi sons like namadeva simpi 1270 to 1350 namadeva कबीर 1398 टू 1448 सूरदास वल्लभाचार्य चैतन्य ऑफ बंगाल मीरा तुलसीदास एकनाथ तुकाराम रामानंद जनाबाय यू टेल नेम्स दे आर ऑल प्रोपगेटिंग वैष्णव भक्ति एंड देर वाज नो कास्ट क्रीड जेंडर bias they just sang for the sake of lord krishna so we have we have a beautiful compositions from uh, different sons of marathis which are which have influenced greatly influenced purandra dasa so purandra dasa considered to be one of the pioneers did purandra dasa start this dasa parampara first is the question no there was shri padaraya of kolar mulubagilu belonging to 1400 1446 vyasaraya 1484 purandra dasa these three were very staunch pillars when we talk about dasa parampara ilu vijayanagara 
scholars were there in the rajasthana and thus these sanskrit pandits veda scholars upanishad scholars and purana pandits were all highly adorable personalities and they thought that making a conversation in sanskrit and talking about veda and vedanta were the ultimate whatever that badrayana veda vyasa told would be discussed at length thread bear and thus the result was there was a scholarly kuta a scholarly association which was termed vyasa kuta all these big big seers which we are now seeing maybe shri padrava shri padraya or vyasa tirtha or any other they were all belonging to this vyasa kuta this vyasa has nothing to do with the vyasa of vyasa tirtha this vyasa is veda vyasa badrayana krishna dvaipayana vyasa kuta meant for scholars they would mind only for sanskrit whatever talking in kannada or the mother language was a dilute one they would never agree they would just just outwit it and thus there was no question of uh, any verses or any uh, dictions in kannada about veda vedanta or upanishads or puranas i will tell you a story shri padaraya one of the, one of the very, very chieftains to advocate our dasa parampara he went to kashi and while coming back by foot he came to mulubagi his aradhya daiva in front of him he came there and started singing by dancing his own kannada songs which he had composed shri padaraya sings along with nartana with dance taking round and round circumambulation to the deity in the temple of mulbagil shri padaraya lost for himself he was not knowing where he was by chance vyasa tirtha vyasa raya comes to that place peeps through the window a big scholar vyasa raya he has written certain uh, granthas which are not at all un- understandable even for the big scholars in sanskrit i don't want to mention the names very big about madhva parampara and madhvacharyas uh, advocacy about advocacy about dvaita principles in sanskrit this fellow he comes and just peeps at the window to see a person who is known to him shri padaraya a trance not able to understand what has happened and he was chanting in kannada the colloquial language which is abundant one for the scholars or for those who want to talk with the god they cannot use kannada and this fellow is conversing with lord krishna in kannada and he has transported himself in his trance puranda uh, vyasara vyasara was totally upset after the puja ceremony was over he just had clasps the feet of shri padaraya and says i don't want all these sanskrit i don't want all these non understandable veda vedanta kagantus all these we do not know tilakashta mahisha bandhana we don't want this shri padara raya and vyasa raya thus start composing songs you all know krishna ni begane baro was a song written by vyasa 
ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಯ ಅಪಾನ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೈ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರ್ಥ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಯ he found himself so much comfortable in the compositions written in kannada and vyasaraya gives upadesha to purandara to srinivasa saying that hereafter you will be called purandara dasa just as we the people though we are having the atma we are having this body as ankita you should also have some ankita so we will you will have purandara vithala as the ankita the pen name and thus by the upadesha of the guru vyasa rao vyasa rao raya purandara dasa starts writing compositions now i know that those who are listening to me will have some question in them that how purandara dasa is called the pitamaha of carnatic music sometimes some people even today do not agree that he is the pitamaha of carnatic music i will tell you at this juncture as how we consider purandara dasa as the pitamaha of carnatic music vyasaraya perhaps did not know music but he would have heard it and the that heard melody would have come in the form of his devarnamas suladis or some ugabogas and thus it was very popular purandara dasa continued it and all other dasas prasanna venkata dasa or some mohana dasa or all those dasas mahi mahipati dasas thousands of them they followed whatever purandara dasa wrote now this kannada songs were popularized through raga without raga it won't reach the people perhaps you are already fed up by my continuous speech that's why i am using samanvi to sing here and there so this is a very natural instinct in us that we can reach people by songs rather than by scripts thus all these dasas used some ragas which were they were knowing perhaps purandara dasa at his time he was knowing about 32 ragas batti saraga as it is written in some some places and in one composition he mentions all the some 20 or 27 28 ragas names come in at in tandem in this composition it this is called nalina janda nalina ja anda nalina ja is brahma nalina is padma ja so he is brahma brahmanda nalina janda tale tale taleya dugi mohisutiralu hmm. kolala nudi bhrajisuva cheluva krishna rayana nodi sing raga dugi sing this first hero nalina janda taleya dugi mo ಸುತಿರಲು ಮಾರವ ದೇಶಿ ಗುಜರಿ ಭೈರವ ಗೌಳಿ ನಾಟಿ ಸಾವೇರಿ ಆಹೇರಿ ಮಾರವ ದೇಶಿ ಗುಜರಿ ಭೈರವ ಸಾವೇರಿ ಆಹೇರಿ ಪೂರಿ ಕಾಮೋಧಿ ಪಾಡಿ ದೇಶಾಕ್ಷಿ ಶಂಕರ ಭರಣ ಮಾಡವಿ ಪೂರಿ ಕಾಮೋಧಿ ಪಾಡಿ ದೇಶಾಕ್ಷಿ ಶಂ ಮುಖ 
सौराष्ट्र गुंड क्रिया राम क्रिया मेघ कुरंजिया पाडलो नोडी नडी न जांड तलेय दूगी मोही सूतिरलु कोडलनु Thank you, Samanvi. Remember that this is not sung by Purandar Dasa in this raga. This raga is composed by me in Raga Deva Gandhari. Because we do not know in which raga he has sung. Though the inscriptions from Vijay Dasa may say that this is in this particular raga, how that song was sung in that raga is not known because 120 years 160 years had already passed by thus we do not know how to sing so we have some freedom to put ragas to these dasa sahitya and without making any alterations in the ashaya of dasa what he wants to convey the message we should not disturb it while composing raga to such scripts written by these dasas. So I thought that this could serve well because Devagandhari is not mentioned there and thus purposefully, intentionally I put this Devagandhari for this where all the 28 other ragas are mentioned in tandem, in succession, in a beautiful way. And this is one of the beautiful pieces our Purandara Dasa has written. Now, Purandara Dasa is claimed to have composed our routine exercises in our Carnatic music, Sarala Varasai, Janti Varasai, uh, Mandra Sthai, Tara Sthai, Dadu Varasai, Alankarams, Geetams, all these. Without this, perhaps, we have not understood, we have not learned Carnatic music. This is the basic foundation given by Sri Purandara Dasa. Why he gave this? If we think, we do not get any information from that age that how singing was taking place. But we know that hundreds and thousands of Granthakaras, musicologists, were there during his time, even in the Vijayanagara Empire and also in the Tanjavur times. But we do not get any information with regard to Lakshya, singing part. We know only Lakshana. So we do not know whether people were in confusion or totally gone out. Kallinata, he says, this, because of this confusion we are all totally upset, so we will shift to Deshiya Sangeet, he says. So after that perhaps Deshiya Sangeet, Deshiya Ragas were adopted and thus from the Sharja, Mar Sharja Gramam, which was Madhyama Gramam earlier, it was shifted to Sharja Gramam, and from Sharja Gramam, singing pattern was totally changed. And this is what we are following now today. Purandra Dasa found that the Karahara Priya, perhaps which was in vogue earlier times, was not suitable for the Bala exercises. So he shifted that to Maya Malava Gavala. Maya Malava Gavala has an advantage 
to have a very subtle capture of sa and ri which are very close sa ri gama are close pada close nisa very close karahara priya is not like this shankara varana the major scale which is used even today by the hindustani people as the basic lessons in bilaval we have left it we are not using it though it is very simple and it is easy to handle purposefully perhaps maya malo gaula was taken as one of the best options and he taught all the the basic exercises in this raga the 35 talas there were 108 ashtotra shata talas totally confusing and there will be all antics that with the one to one hand two hand do all those things will be there to give you the impression of this tala perhaps dhruva mathya rupaka jhampe triputa ata eka these seven talas in five jatis tisra chaturashra khanda mishra sankirna the in the, these jatis will totally make up 35 7 into 5 35 so 35 talas were mentioned by shri purandra dasa and adi tala the cycle of eight beats was popularized and thus it was one of the biggest achievements purandra dasa gave it to us chapu tala deshadi tala adi tala rupak tala were all and khand chapu or jampe as it was called were all very popular they were they were standardized and it was taken la- later to the carnatic music very easily annamayya also followed perhaps this kind of attainments and when we come to the pre trinity time 1700 ಉತ್ತುಕ್ಕಾಡು ವೆಂಕಟ ಸುಬ್ಬ ಅಯ್ಯರ್ ಕವಿ ವೆಂಕಟ ಕವಿ ಹಿ ಆಡ್ ಮೇಡ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ನೊಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನೊಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫ್ಲೆಚ್ಡ್ ವಾಗ್ಯಯ ಕಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ರಿನಿಟಿ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜ ಮುತ್ತುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮುತ್ತುಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ದೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟ್ರಿನಿಟೀಸ್ before trinity utukkadu has had already made a firm ground of carnatic music we have a sumptuous meal of feast of music in his creations purandra dasa cannot be neglected in this regard that that foundation would have led later to this development in carnatic music that's why he is considered as the pitamaha of carnatic music let us stop our discussion about this and if we go on discussing about it then regionalism will come in the way and will never never allow us to talk further so we shall not talk further we will just bow down to that great soul of purandara vithala that purandara dasa purandara dasa about 1000 compositions perhaps are available they are also a few are written by his sons very recently dr s karthik from bangalore has mentioned in his recent article that whatever tande purandara vithala that ankita has come it is not belonging to purandara dasa he says it belongs to one person from tamil nadu venkob rao and he has just published that and it is available now now all our total number will get tilted if we are just squeezing out all the tande purandara vitala from 
Purandara Dasa's compositions, whatever. We have to wink it at some, some, sometimes for these things. Whatever Purandara Dasa wrote, which is the correct one, Baduki denu, Baduki denu, Bhavayanaga hingitu. Is it the correct one? Yes, it is very authentic according to some. That it belongs to Purandara Dasa. But we have one Kannada film, Bhakta Kanaka Dasa, where Rajkumar is, P.B. Srinivas is singing Baduki denu, Baduki denu, belonging to Kagi Nele Adi Kesheva, Kanaka Dasa. The tail piece end is replaced by somebody as Kanaka, as written by Kanaka or as written by Purandara. Who am I, who am I to say that it belongs to Kanaka Dasa or to Purandara Dasa? We are totally helpless, my dear friends. We are totally helpless. Out of thousand, perhaps, if we look into the beautiful Yati, Prasa, Jatis, Dvitiya Prasas, and the composition with the Pallavi, Anupallavi, Charanas, and the Kannada literature, it belongs to Purandara Dasa. If it belongs to Purandara Dasa, some are not. Because they are not up to the standard of that Kannada which is used by Purandara Dasa. I don't want to go into the details of these things. Let us have it some other day, if it is possible. So Purandara Dasa's songs were about Navavida Bhakti. What are Navavida Bhakti? Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, Padasevana, Archana, Vandana, Dasya, Sakya, Atma, Nivedana. And all these, Bhakti is flourishing in his compositions. This is one thing. Second, he wanted to make improvements in the society in the Samaj. He wanted it to be set right. He writes, Dushta janarige idus ubhiksha kala. What is it? Satya vantarige idu kala valla. It is... Dear friends, remember, Satya vantarige idu kala valla, Dushta janarige idu subhiksha kala. He gives it. A standard statement in 1500, we are in 2020, whether it is with reference to today's time or that time. <laughs> Let us not go into the details of this. Hendati Prana Hinduti at one time and one place. At another place, Adadella Vullade Ait, Vullite Ait. Whatever my wife has told, it has become good for me. Now I am free from everything. This is salvation. This is moksha. I am free. I had some belongings at some one point of time. That too, my wife said, just throw it off. We threw it off. Now we are free from it. We are just at the feet of Purandara, Vittala. So, he just makes a free statement. Lile, Bala Lile, Krishna Lile, uh, Jogula, uh, the Lilt, the Lalabis, and uh, describing all the mischievousness, describing Krishna from the Bhagavata, of taking the example of Ajamila, from Draupadi, from... You tell anything, we have that in Purandara Dasa. At the same time, he gives an Indastutis at various times. He is impatient and he calls, I, I cannot believe you. You have not shown your darshana to me. After total dissatisfaction and desperation, he would have told that. But at the end of the last stanza, sorry, um, I am at your feet. Badrachala Ramadasa also does the same thing. We know that. So all these bhakti saints would pass through all these stages. He has Nindastutis. He has 
made critical comments about the people in the society he has made some um grotesque appearances of krishna in his treatises he has given us upanishads dvaita philosophy veda philosophy vedantas puranas everything in a very very simple pal- palatable form one one such thing this is very difficult dvaita philosophy says dwa suparna sayuja sakhaya samanam vriksham parishasva jate jivatma and paramatma are the two birds of these one will eat the fruit and another will not ಎರಡು ಬಂದಾಗದು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ರಂಗ ಎರಡು ಬಂದಾಗದು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ರಂಗ ಒಂದು ವೃಕ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಪಕ್ಷಿಗಳು ಎರಡು ಒಂದಾಗದು ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗೂ ರಂಗ ಒಂದೇ ಗೂಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತಿಹವು ರಂಗ ಎರಡು ಒಂದಾಗದು ಒಂದು ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಫಲಗಳನ್ನು ಉಂಬುದು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಫಲಗಳನ್ನು ಉಂಡದು ರಂಗ ಎರಡು ಒಂದಾಗದು ಹೈ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಬೈ ಲೇ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮುಂಡಿಗೇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ mundiges purandara mundiges are there where you do not understand the meaning of such beautiful verses this is from mundakopanishad dwapas dwasuparna abbabba ibbara hendara sukhavu kandenayya abbabba endigu saaku saakayya have for having two wives it's enough is not that he had two wives he had one mind another mind of doubt and that's why he says doubt always makes him disturbed illiye kulitidda bhootavu ondu halliyu nungitu 14 lokava this is yet another madhya madhya vishuddhi hmm ಊರ ದೇವರ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಣ್ಣ ತನ್ನೊಳಗೆ ತಾನೆ ಊರ ದೇವರ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಣ್ಣ ಊರ ದೇವರ ಮಾಡಿರೆಂದು ಸಾರುತಿದೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇರುಳು ಹಗುಲು ದ್ವಾರಗಳು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸಿ ಭ್ರೂ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ದ್ವಾರಗಳು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸಿ ಭ್ರೂ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಊರ ದೇವರ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಣ್ಣ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಫೋಕ್ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ಪುರಂದ್ರ ದಾಸ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶರೀರ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಊರು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಂಬರೂಪಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ you have to make this devru you make it a god ura you make this uru you make this body into a god ura devara madabekanna ura devara madirendu saarutide you do it 
Shruti has already been, been telling since long time. You just close all the nine dwaras and concentrate on the Bru Madhya, meditate and have the seven the six chakras in meditation properly set you will get it you will secure it you will get it to the form of god eshtu yuga galu thiri hoytanna devara madade kashtadinda nonde kanana ashtadalada kamba nillisi katti chakrangalanu haki srishti devara tandu nillisi ದುಷ್ಟ ಕೋಣನ ಶಿರವ ತರಿದು ಊರ ದೇವರ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಣ್ಣ ಸೊ ಸಚ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಪುರಂದ್ರದಾಸ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಪೀಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈನ್ samples of navavida bhakti one one each there are so many pieces written by purandar dasa just to recall our remembrance what this great sage has told shravana hari katha shravana hari katha shravana madu ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ಪಾಡೋ ಹರಿ ಕಥಾ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮಾಡೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಯು ಗೋನ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಅನುದಿನ ಮಾಡ್ಪಗೆ ನರಕ ಭಯಗಳುಂಟೆ ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಅನುದಿನ ಮಾಡ್ಪಗೆ ನರಕ ಭಯಗಳುಂಟೆ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಅಂಜಿಕೆ ಇನ್ಯಾತಕಯ್ಯ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಕಾಲ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಜೀವರಾಯ ಸಜನರಿಗೆ ಸಂಜೀವರಾಯನ ಸ್ಮರಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಂಜಿಕೆ ಇನ್ಯಾತ ಕೈಯ ಸಜನರಿಗೆ ಸಂಜೀ ನಂಬಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟವರಿಲ್ಲವೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ನಂಬಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟವರಿಲ್ಲವೋ ರಂಗಯ್ಯನ ನಂಬಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟವರಿಲ್ಲವೋ ರಂಗಯ್ಯನ ನಂಬದೆ ಕೆಟ್ಟರೆ ಕೆಡರಿ ರಂಗಯ್ಯನ ನಂಬಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟವರಿಲ್ಲವೋ ರಂಗಯ್ಯನ ನಂಬದೆ ಕೆಟ್ಟರೆ ಕೆಡದಿ ಕೆಡಲಿ ನಂಬಿ ಕೆಟ್ಟವರಿಲ್ಲವೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅರ್ಚನ ಹೇಗೆ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿಸಲಿ ಹರಿಯೇ ಹೇಗೆ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿಸಲಿ ಅರ್ಚಿಸಲಿ ಹರಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಮೆಚ್ಚಿಸಲಿ ಅರ್ಚಿಸಲಿ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಿನ್ನ ನಾಮದ ಸ್ಮರಣೆಯ ವಂದನ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಿನ್ನ ನಾಮದ ಸ್ಮರಣೆಯ ಸಾರಾಮೃತವು ಎನ್ನ ನಾಡಿಗೆ ಬರಲಿ ನಾರಾಯ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ 
Dasya. Dasya Namada. Dasya Namada. Dasya Namada. Swami Sasira Namada. Venkata Ramana. Now there is a, a challenge between God and the devotee. Yanagu ane ranga, yanagu ane. Both are friends. No challenge. Sakya. Yanagu ane ranga, yanagu ane. Yanagu ane ranga, yanagu ane. Yanagu, yanagu ibarigu. Last one is Atma Nivedana. So many, so many compositions are there. Nanina Dhyana Dori One of the very famous songs. So there are so many songs which are very near to our heart and Purandara Dasa immediately becomes one among us. Purandara Dasa Sahityas were first published from Mangalore in 1850 by a British and later by German and later Indians published it and now so many editions are available from Purandra Dasas. Purandra Dasa not only composed um, Kirtanas he composed Suladis. This is a special kind of prabandha where there is a Tala Malika and very difficult. No one probably knows now how to sing this. But I am happy that from Udupi there is a person, Swamiji, Bannanje Shri Shri Raghavendra Tirtha. He has brought out a new CD, not new CD, it's about a, about a few years old, ten years old, where it contains a suladi of Sri Raghavendra Swami, not of Purandra Dasa, on uh, Mukya Prana. Mukya Prana Devara Prarthana Suladi. I will just make you to listen to this for one and after two minutes. The Tala changes and it is a really eye-opener that we have lost this, we are not able to sing this. But somehow this Swamiji has been doing some service to popularize it by teaching some people here in the folk. Please. This is another ten. Taka dimmi taka taka dimmi. Taka dimmi. Seven. Six. 
cycle of seven weeks, cycle of fourteen weeks. Takadimi, 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 takadimi. ಿಮ್ಮಿ this is a, a small sample where suladi is sung as a regular practice in udupi popularized by bannanje shri raghavendra tirtha swami ji this is not composed by purandra dasa it is composed by shri raghavendra swami swami ji anyway if we if i go on telling this it has no end anyway purandra dasa also had an end he died in 1565 he has seen the disaster happened in vijayanagar empire perhaps a dwindling empire in 1567 kalikota war took place so purandra dasa had so much of sorrow perhaps in his mind seeing all the disaster in and around as we are seeing now because of corona corona virus anyway we are concluding with your permission is a question huh can i read it out? yes how many types of songs are in dasa sahitya and what is the difference between kriti devarnama and kirtanas okay kriti is not written by purandara dasa it is written by a vagya kara it needs to have notation written by that composer himself purandra dasa has not done this that is why he is not uh, taken to our uh, pedestal saying that he is a vagya kara he is not kirtana is just an, an extempore singing of some songs which is now set to some tala and ragas and thus it is a devaranama it's also called pada not padam pada devaranama or pada or kirtana so it's um, without any notations then what did you say and uh, that's it and then devaranama the okay experience. okay then there's one more question regarding like is there any online uh, website or any uh, like any place from where we can get uh, the meaning of pundarasa songs as well as any resource to learn songs um i am not very much conversant with the uh, webs websites i have read quite a good number of books and one such book where all the krutis are available in kannada published from shri manmadva siddhanta granthalaya udupi is one this and this is called purandara dasara kirtanegalu then one of the most beautiful book is purandara sahitya darshana volume 1 2 3 and 4 written by none other than professor s k ramachandra rao and written by uh kannada purandara sahitya darshana uh samputa by karnataka government it is perhaps i do not know whether it is available or not 
but i tell you this is one of the best books and with his total dedication to the introduction highly research oriented discussions are there in the first part part of this these books and one should go through this and there are so many english books are also available one by v sita ramayya a small book on purandar das is very good and very innovative so like that some english books are there but uh, it's not much i would just um, tell you one mr uh, one from uttar kannada vision of purandar dasa by k professor k h prabhu has been written where many of his compositions are in english and it is available in amazon, amazon. another book is available in amazon which is written by me as well as by notated by samanvi and archana where some 50 compositions along with the notations and real meanings in english sanskrit devanagari are available in this book also available in amazon kirtanas of karnataka there is one opinion saying that the all the basic music uh, it existed in the tamil music civilization some 30 uh, 3 to 5000 years ago and uh, whatever the, the later whatever music it started it started from the tamil music is what the someone's opinion yeah it's an opinion it's an opinion still going on that opinion is still in discussion whether tamil literature is the oldest or tamil lakshana karas are the oldest or other karas or tamil lakshya is the oldest or other lakshyas are oldest i am not here to give any verdict as of mine because it is the discussion has to take place between the connoisseurs and those who have done lots and lots of research who have sweat and toiled for these dasas in inscriptions or in palm leaves or other things in uh, the scripts so let us not worry about it let us enjoy purandara dasas songs and let us have the moksha from all these um unnecessary discussions and uh, illustrations if purandara dasa belongs to marathi nothing happens if he belongs to kannada nothing happens if he is composing songs in tamil wonderful if it if he sings in Tem- telugu very welcome let us welcome everything which is to go to the salvation salvation to liberate ourselves so um what is the last song which we would like to can 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 she sing one song and end anybody can advise me or shall we conclude okay okay with we will conclude with the last piece of uh, purandara shri purandara dasa and i thank shadlet purandara aradhana team for having given us opportunity to talk on a great personality um and uh, i am really i have breached the time limit given to me but anyway there was some there, there was some chit available from the other side saying that we could extend it up to 8:30 it has even crossed 8:30 we will conclude with samanvi's one song with uga bhoga which is not with any taala followed by a single line verse nine ballidano ninna dasaru ballidaro i do not know whether you are very intelligent or your dasa 
is intelligent we do not know namaskar to all thank you very much to all ಶುಭ ದಿನವೇ ಶುಭ ದಿನ 